Hello and welcome back to my channel and if you're new welcome my name is Vanessa this is Nessa CX Beauty and today I did want to share with y'all my Sephora recommendations for the VIB sale with the sale coming so soon this year it's starting on October 30th for VIB Rouge I did want to get my recommendations out there in case y'all were looking for some new goodies that are actually good to purchase from Sephora now I'm just gonna read off the dates VIB Rouge gets 20% off this year, which is an upgrade. We usually get 15. Um, from Octo October 30th to November 9th, VIB members get 15% off between November 3rd and November 9th. And then Insiders, which anybody can be an insider, so if you do not have a Sephora account and you want one, make one before the event so you can get your 10% off. Um, and that's from November 5th to November 9th. You can use the holiday code as many times as you want between these dates and it is holiday fun this year. So if y'all are interested in seeing some of the things that I recommend from Sephora, just continue watching. All right, so the first category I did wanna talk about was skincare because I have been more into skincare recently and my skin's been loving me for it. So the first thing I did wanna talk about, it's kind of inexpensive already, but if y'all can get a discount, that don't hurt. Um, it's the AHA 30% BHA Exfoliating Facial. This I use once to twice a week and it's amazing. It does wonders for your skin. Um, my mom actually uses it as well and she loves it. So that's number one on the list. The second one from The Ordinary that I did want to mention was the Salicylic Acid 2% Mask. This, if you are breaking out, use this and your skin will thank you. Just saying, whenever I break out, this is my go-to mask. The next product I did want to talk about was the Innisfree Pore Clearing Facial Foam with Volcanic Clusters. This thing is remarkable, remarkable. So many cleansers break me out. This one does not. It makes my face feel clean without feeling stripped. And then also it's good for your pores. So if y'all have pores like your girl, you're welcome. This is an awesome cleanser. Very good for sensitive skin. My skin is very sensitive. Even stuff marketed for sensitive skin breaks me out. This does not. So you're welcome. <laughs> the next product I wanted to talk about, I think I talked about this last year as well. This thing is a holy grail for dry skin. This is the Bosha B12 Hydration Booster Serum. If you are ever feeling dry, Sometimes I put this under my foundation, I'm not gonna lie. I put this under my foundation. This is amazing and your skin just like eats it or soaks it up if you're a dry girl. I'm mega dry. When I feel mega dry, I use this. And this is my saving grace. This is my third bottle. I will never, ever stop recommending this. It is wonderful. The next item that I wanted to talk about is the Laneige Cream Skin Toner and Moisturizer. This one is another saving grace for dry skin. I do use this one more overnight, so when I wake up, my skin feels like a baby's bottom. This one I use more throughout the day, in the morning, before my foundation. And this one I use before I go to bed, and it's been working out for me. It's amazing. I have my backup, but this is the one that I'm almost done with. The next item I want to talk about is kind of on the pricey side, which is why you should buy it when you have your 15, 10, 20% off. It is the Summer Fridays Soft Reset AHA Exfoliating Solution. I've been using this for the past six weeks and it's replaced everything in my skincare that's not my cleanser or my masks. This thing is so amazing it helps out your skin so much you like these three these four together i don't think i will ever break out ever again in my life not gonna lie um what i will say about this is that it is more harsh in terms of the acid that it uses and the percentage that it uses so this is definitely not beginner friendly if you have never put acid or like anything that resurfaces your skin on your face. Do not automatically go to this. Do not automatically go to this. Work up to something like this. 
That's all I'm gonna say. Cause this thing, I have had to stop using it every day. I have to use it like every other day now because I started getting peeling on my nose. And so now I use it every other day and it's been a blessing. So it's definitely not a beginner friendly skincare item. So just be forewarned. If you do buy it and you've never put acid on your face, don't use it every day or work your way up to it. The next item is a tool. And I've never talked about a tool in terms of being my favorite, but this one is just so, so satisfying. This is the Dermaflash Pore Extractor. It is phenomenal for your nose. Because I eat a lot of cheese. I don't know about y'all, but I eat cheese like every single fucking day. And then my nose doesn't like me for it. So I do get a lot of grease in my nose. But this takes it out just like... And you just keep your um, face wet. And then bop, 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 bop. Then you see all the yellow and all the green grease build up on it. And it's disgusting, but it's so satisfying. But also, be warned, you can go hard with this. I did go very hard the last time I used it. And now my, my nose is very sensitive. But don't go hard. Get everything out. This is amazing. And it's worth the money. It's a little bit pricey. But if you get that percentage off, it might be a good investment for you. The next thing I want to talk about within the skincare section is the Shiseido Facial Cotton Pads. This is like the third one I've purchased. This is what I apply all of these things with. And I'm sorry that I'm using cotton, but these are so good. And they have like moisture within them. And me as a dry skin girl, I really, really love them. So they're 12 bucks, which is why... I definitely recommend getting them when you have a discount. But let's get into makeup. Now we talked about my skincare. We're gonna go into the base. The base, cause y'all know I'm crazy about my base. The first thing I wanted to talk about was the Too Faced Primed and Poreless Plus Primer. This is amazing. I am so sad that so many people write horrible reviews on this primer without even trying it because it's not the original formula. So they discontinued the old Primed and Poreless and then they came out with the Primed and Poreless Plus. So then people like started like comparing the, what's it called, the ingredients and they realized that it was somewhat different. But this is amazing. And they write like one star reviews on it without even trying it. So. I just want to let y'all know that this is really good and it's what I've been using and I'm almost done with it and I need another one. So there she is. She's wonderful for my skin and she makes her skin feel super smooth and foundation glides on it. The next two are foundations. This will always be a recommendation for me. This is the Hourglass Foundation Stick and I do use the shade Warm Beige. She is stunning in terms of coverage, in terms of wear, in terms of finish. She's a little pricey, but she's great. But I want to talk about my holy grail foundation, and that is this one. And I didn't want to love it, but I freaking adore it. This is the NARS Soft Matte Foundation. I wear the shade Aruba, if y'all are curious. And it is the most beautiful foundation I've ever had on my skin. It lasts amazingly throughout the day. It doesn't change. And I'm in awe of it. And it comes with 1.5 ounces, which is more than your average Joe foundation. So I highly, highly, highly recommend this foundation. The next product is... Now that we have been wearing masks and all that jazz, I've grown to appreciate this setting spray so much. This is the Cap on D Locket Setting Spray. If you don't want your makeup to transfer onto your mask, get your hands on this as fast as you can. I use this after my um, foundation, after my concealer, and after I set. And it's just everything proof. This makes my makeup everything proof. 
and I love it. I actually am loving it more than my all-nighter. I recommend the all-nighter, but this one, if you're having issues with your mask and you want to wear a full face because you're allowed to wear a full face even if you're wearing a mask, this is the setting spray that you should get. It's amazing. And I'm almost done, so I need a new one. <laughs> now we're going to go into the eyes. I only have two eyeshadow palettes. The first one is the Jackie Ina eyeshadow palette. This is she. I have her on my eyes today. And she is wonderful. She is very, very wonderful. And then my all-time favorite, Anastasia Beverly Hills eyeshadow palette that I keep in the box. My Soft Glam palette. She is stunning, amazing, beautiful, gorgeous, great for every day, great for on the carpet, great for dates. Soft Glam will forever be my favorite Anastasia eyeshadow palette. Then the creamiest pencil, eye pencil, on the market in Sephora that doesn't dry out, the Fenty Fly Pencil. I do have the shade, I believe this is Lagoon, oh Lady Lagoon and she does not dry out she is perfect beautiful stunning very creamy and very pigmented i want more colors of this but this formula is amazing look at that amazing and the last thing i did want to talk about are lips these three formulas drive me crazy two of them are from fenty the first one is the fenty beauty lip stunner paint and this one is in Uncuffed. Uncuffed is what I'm wearing on my lips right now. It is the most stunning shade. It is beautiful. It is long wear. This one is my favorite, favorite, favorite. And the formula is bomb. Yes. The <laughs> next one is also from Fenty. It's the Mademoiselle lipstick. And this one is in Thick. I do also have I Quit, and this is also an amazing, amazing lip product. And then the last one is a new favorite, and I'm very happy to add this to my list. It is the Rare Beauty Matte Lip Whip Lipstick. I don't know how to say it or pronounce or remember that long-ass name that she gave this lipstick. But I love the shade, and it is in Brave. Oof. I also have the shade Fearless, but in terms of, you know, formula, these are bomb. They stay on the whole day. And then when they fade, they fade into like a lip tint. So these three formulas, I highly recommend. I did say that that was the last one, but I forgot about these two. My body wash. This is the third time I purchased this. This is the <laughs> Brazilian Foreplay Moisturizing Shower Cream Gel. Again, I do have dry skin. This is amazing for my body and it moisturizes my body so and it smells fantastic you're welcome for this because you come out of the shower you smell in like this it's amazing and then the last thing i bought this because of the thing in the middle it was limited edition it's the it's the mary multi masking thing from Briogeo. I literally bought this just for this because it was limited edition. That's the Honey Moisture Deep Conditioning Mask. This makes your hair so, so smooth, so easy to detangle, so easy to straighten, so easy to do everything with, and it smells like honey. It's amazing. It smells so good. But that was my last thing. I did get a mask with my last Sephora order. This was a point perk for 250 points. And I'll recommend it too because it's really nice and it has a wire that conforms to your nose. But that concludes my list. So let me know if anything that's on my list is also on your list. Also, if you have anything on your list that I don't have that you need me to try that is your holy grail, please let me know because my cart is filling up for October 30th. So... Have a great day or night wherever you are in the world of the season. Bye bye.